Tonight, the local Ukrainian community gathered to pray as they watched the conflict unfold in the last day. Two Ukrainian churches in Woonsocket held prayer services, and 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts was there. She joins us live from Woonsocket with more on what those parishioners had to say. Amanda? Well, Mike Shannon, many of those prayers were for the lives lost, but for some there tonight, it was for their loved ones who are in Ukraine that they make it out alive. It is, it is extremely sad. A somber night inside a Woonsocket church as Rhode Islanders with ties to Ukraine pray for their beloved homeland. For them to attack us like this is so cruel. That is inhuman, really. Let's don't stand to right. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Parishioners gathered at St. Michael the Archangel Ukrainian Catholic Church for a prayer service for those who lost their lives in the last 24 hours since Russia invaded. It's horrible. You know, I just, uh, I'm disgusted. And the tens of millions still there. The best that we can hope is now that the aggression is stopped. So no more people have to die for, for no reason. That's, that's the thing. Reverend Rowan Galemba is now retired, but used to call this Woonsocket Parish home. Both of his parents were Ukrainian, and the 74-year-old still has family there. They're all nervous. They all live in the uh, western part of Ukraine, so they're not immediately affected yet, but, uh, but of course, they, they're, they're not at ease at all. Wednesday night, he turned on the news to see that Russia had started a war. After that, they didn't sleep at all, doing it with tossing and turning back and forth. While it's easy to feel helpless from here, that's why these Ukrainians turn to prayer. But we just pray, you know, hope for the, for the best that Ukraine will be free again, you know, that we can rejoice with the rest of the world, you know, the freedom that belongs to us, you know, so. And that's the only thing we can do. Now, both Ukrainian churches here in the city will join forces on Sunday at noon for a joint prayer service. Live in Woonsocket tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.